In Fox Community this morning, Shreveport has over 90 homicides just this year, which greatly impacts the families of the victims. But these tragedies also affect the next generation. Fox 33's Aaron Todd sat down with an 11-year-old Shreveport rapper who shares how it's impacting our youth. People need to stop the gun violence because us as kids, we want to live and be free. And we could, like, do better in life. 11 year old Rayvon Weber, also known in the community as Ray the Youngin, made a name for himself just three years ago when he decided he wanted to be a rapper. My sister started, well, she wanted to make a song. And me being nosy, I kind of just swooped in and tried to do it with her. His family inspiring him after the death of his two close friends. He decided to deal with their losses by making a tribute. I was just trying to go off with the situations of the events that happened. And this, this other song just came about. His song, Miss You, follows the death of 13-year-old Oxford Foster, who died in a car crash outside of Dallas, Texas in October, and 12-year-old Xavier Perry, who was shot and killed this past November. You know, so up close and personal, how do you deal with death? I was just with my friend yesterday. I just saw him at school yesterday, so now today he's gone. So it's kind of hard to, you know, kind of wrap your mind around it. People just put the guns down and stop all this violence. People could, like, do more than what they already was doing now. It did, like, during the future, they could do way better and, like, know what to do. The song now getting recognition from all around the community. Ravon's father, Marquise Jackson, says being able to help his son get through the trauma is what's important. Just being able to, to do that with my son is a blessing, but to be able to help him channel his emotions, to be able to help him, you know, channel that anger or whatever he may be feeling, you know, because it could come out in other areas, it could come out in other ways. And him seeing the violence in the city every day, him seeing it on the news, you know, it kind of kind of gives him hope that, you know, especially with the, the recognition that the song is given, that, you know, things can get better. He says the support from the community has been nothing but overwhelming. We've received so many uh, emails and DMs from family members of the victims that tell us how the song has helped them. So to be able to make a difference with my son and we're helping each other, his dreams come true, uh, it's amazing. Being so young, what lesson have you taken away from both of these tragedies? You'll never know who ever gonna die in your life. You don't know who life gonna get taken away. It's just that, like, live life to the fullest. Darren Todd, Fox 33 News. Now, Ray says he is going to continue to be a voice for the community, and he also has an album coming out on January 15th.